This is my gambling machine. I'm gonna show you how to build it. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious, or Cap for short. Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. If you like today's video, please drop a like. It really helps out the channel a lot. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in your payment, whatever your payment may be. I actually already have them in there. And uh, yeah, if, if somebody wants to put in 10 and have 10 chances, all they gotta do is load it up. However many you put in, is how many chances you get. So we got all of these chances right now, okay? There's nothing in the barrel. We're gonna press it. And I have it set, oh, wow, first shot. <laughs> You're gonna get seven. If they win, they get seven of the items and then they can walk away, okay? But the whole idea is you don't want them to win a lot. You wanna be able to make money, okay? This is your payment right here. So if you run this little gambling machine, this is all of yours to keep. And then this over here would be whatever you wanna have them win okay this is the prize right here now i do have it set on a really hard difficulty it's one out of nine so they have a one out of nine chance which is not very good um to actually win something so we press it again press it again press it again and you can customize it you can customize the payment you can customize the prize you can customize the odds whatever you want to do i do suggest you keep it on one out of nine because the whole point is that they're not going to win big if you're at a real casino and you, you know, you play a lot, you're not going to win all the time, right? So, yeah, yep, there we go. We won, They won again. But the whole idea is you want to make it worth your while. You want to make sure that you have, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to be getting more than you're going to be giving out, okay? You can even do the same thing. You can do the same thing, you know? Bet one iron to win seven iron. Totally up to you. Um, but you just got to make sure the prize, the prizes are full and I would definitely keep the odds where I had them, okay? But anyway, let's just get into what you need and how to build it. Here's everything you're going to need. Either pause it or take a screenshot. Keep in mind the 64 just represents the prize. You can have it whatever you want. The three iron ingots represent the payment. You just need three of whatever the payment is that you want. And also the anvil, you don't need it. Uh, as long as you have one lying around somewhere, you could just use that one. And all you're going to do is you're going to take an item. It doesn't matter. Just have... Take something you have a lot of, dirt or something, just add an S at the end of it so it changes it. Uh, this is actually coarse dirt, but um, just add an S at the end of it. So now if somebody puts in dirt, they're not going to they're not gonna be able to cheat the system. They would have to know exactly what it is. You can even change it to like a dollar sign or something. It doesn't matter, okay? So you don't really need that after you use it, so I'm going to take it out of my inventory. And then these right here represent the items we're going to be putting in the randomizer. Okay, you just need one non-stackable item. I'm going to use a wooden sword. And the rest, you have to have eight different stackable items. You can't just have like eight cobblestone. It has to be eight different stackable items. Okay? So just take eight different blocks you have lying around that are stackable and uh, and have them with you. All right? And everything else is pretty self-explanatory. This is a dropper, not a dispenser. And then, of course, the building blocks, whatever you want to use. Okay? Anyway, enough explanation. Uh, let's just start building. So we're going to go one, two, three, f four, five. Okay. And then all we're going to do is just put that down for a second and then break it. And we're going to go one, two, three, then up another two, up two on that side and over right there. And then we're going to go up like this and all the way across. Okay. So this is how you build the action machine. Again, you can use whatever blocks you want. Now we're going to take a dropper, come from behind it and put it that way, okay? I'm going to be using uh, dirt, excuse me, I'm gonna be using dirt for uh, to, to use as my like building block down here, but it's gonna be coarse, so it's not gonna change the grass. You should still be easy to follow, okay? And all we're gonna do for the, what did I do for the floor? I felt like I put something, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so all you're gonna do over here in the front is we're going to put a light here, a light here, and we're going to put a barrel you can do whatever in the middle. You can have another dropper, you know, facing this way, facing sideways, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to be using a barrel. That's that's just what I chose. Okay? And it's going to look like that. And then, actually, we might as well just get rid of this in the front here. Boom, boom. Okay? And then we can do our payment. So I'm going to do... Uh, the payment is going to be uh, that. And the output is going to be... Or the prize is going to be that. And again, you can customize that, honestly, with whatever you choose. And then just take your stone button, uh, crouch, and place it there. You, you don't have to use stone, but I think it looks nice against the... It looks nice against this because it blends in. I mean, you can use any other color if you want. You can maybe use the, the crimson for that if you have red. Whatever you want. 
Okay, that's up to you. Okay, so now let's build our uh, sorter. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, or filter I should say. What we're gonna do is, not we don't want it facing that way, so we're just gonna come out like that with it, put a block there, and then we're going to cr place a hopper into that block, okay, right there. Uh, we're going to put a chest down here, and then we're going to put a hopper facing that chest, so it looks just like this, okay? Cool. Now what we wanna do is we want, this right here has to be locked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a block there and a block there to start. We're gonna put a torch here. Now the torch lights up this uh, dirt, okay? Which actually lo locks this. So these, so this right here is activated as redstone block because it's now lit up and it's going to um, lock this hopper. So nothing can go into that unless we want it to. So now this is how we want it to go. So we're gonna go uh, comparator Oh, and actually we also have to put a repeater here, just like that, okay? So we're gonna go comparator, put a block there and a block there, sorry. Okay, block there just like that. We're actually gonna do a, a block here and then we're just gonna go one, two, just like that, okay? Now whenever the signal strength reaches two, it's gonna light this up, activate this, turn off that torch. You guys know how filters work. I'm sure we've all built uh, item sorters, right? Okay, so that part's fairly simple. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do put a dropper facing up here with a hopper facing down. Okay, so now not only will this, when this activates, not only will it turn off this torch allowing one thing to go through, it is also going to uh, activate our, our uh, randomizer. So all you're gonna do inside this dropper right now is you're gonna put one wooden sword or whatever your non-stackable item is, and then the nine different items. The whole key is we want to get this filled up. Now, why can't you put one of, or nine of one item, one, one stackable item? Because let's say you get shot up here and then goes back down. It's not going to go to these random spots. It's going to go right back to wherever you have the one. So eventually, these nine spots that are filled are going to just be these two, which, which is going to make the odds only 50%. We don't want that. So it has to be uh, stackable items, but it has to be eight different ones, okay? That's how it has to work. So now this becomes a randomizer. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, two, just like that, okay? Exactly like that. We're gonna then put a comparator, sorry, not like that, we gotta go like this. One, two, like that, okay? Then we gotta put uh, redstone there. Now what happens is when this activates and randomly, because it, it, droppers and, and dispensers are randomized, uh, the game just randomly picks from one of these nine spots. So when these stackable items get shot up here, okay, only one at a time will get shot up, it's going to read an output. It's only going to give an output of one. One item in the dropper or in a, in a hopper. One, stack, one, non, one stackable item only gives you a signal strength of one. So this will not be lit up. However, any time this wooden sword gets uh, shot up here, it is going to give you a signal strength of three, but we don't need three because we only need one more than one, right? We just need to make sure that it's just the one. So we're going to put it there. So that's why we have it just like that over here, okay? So just keep that in mind. Cool. Uh, before we do that, let's come over here with this hopper, and we're going to put one hopper here, one hopper. Oh, no, sorry. Before we do that, break this barrel for a second and we're gonna put a dropper there. Okay, now we can put the barrel back. My apologies. Okay. And now that the dropper is uh, one, two, all three of our droppers are there, we don't need the droppers anymore either, so we can put this down. Okay, now that that dropper is there, we're gonna crouch, we're gonna place one hopper, two hopper, and now we're gonna crouch and place a double chest like this. This is for your prizes. Okay, cool. Now what we want to do is we want to put our observer facing this way, okay? Because it's going to observe whenever this is red. We're going to put a block right there into, I believe it is, yep, yeah, it's a repeater. So then a block goes here because we want to make sure this redstone doesn't interact with this. Okay, into a repeater like that. Into a block, into a piece of redstone dust, okay? 
into a piece of dirt or whatever your block is that you're using to build and then into a uh, with a torch on that block so now when this observer picks up the, this signal okay it's going to activate this repeater which is going to activate this redstone dust which is going to activate this torch which is going to because now that this hopper is locked so anything we stick in here anything we stick in here will not um, get pulled right away okay so all we're going to do now is every time this that redstone signal goes it's going to unlock this hopper twice and it's going to pull from here and feed it into the prize thing but what you're going to do in the beginning is you're going to start by putting seven in this one okay so let's do that right now so this is our prize which is the diamond so we're going to put seven here so one two three four five six seven. i tell you what do ten eight nine ten okay do ten there do one here in this locked hopper You'll know it's locked, but if you did it right by that, it's just this one right here. And then the rest go up here. All the rest of the prizes. Uh, try and get a prize that you can fill this up with. I don't know if diamonds are the best unless you just have a ton. Or maybe you can do iron. If you have, you know, if there's like an iron, uh, you have a huge iron farm, um, maybe you just do that. Uh, but whatever, you got, you, you'll figure it out. Whatever you want your prize and your, and your, um, your payment to be. Okay? You do that right there. Uh, before we go underneath, because we have more to do to activate the lights. And the actual, if you know, you'll notice that that dropper doesn't fire yet because there's, there's nothing, uh, there's no redstone hooked up to it. So what we're going to do is come to this top one right here and let's set up our filter. Again, I'm going to take the dirt that I named dirts. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So it should be six in, the, in this last slot, then five, five, five. And then take whatever your payment is and just stick it in there and it'll filter its way through. Okay, you should only have two left because the one was put in there, but I'm in creative, obviously, so it doesn't go away. Okay, so now you'll have one in here, and you'll have one in your chest. Actually, I'm sorry, you'll have one in here. Yeah, that's right, because I had the extra one. Okay, so you'll have one there and one there. So now anytime they put the, the iron in or whatever your payment is, they shoot it into there. That is going to send that signal strength, make it two which is going to activate the whole system as I explained earlier. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come underneath this. Okay. Just like that. We're going to break this, break this, break this. Uh, don't break that. We're going to come to the front and under this left light, we're going to break that and we're going to put a torch on that back one. Okay. And then you could just stick whatever this block is back here. Like so. Okay. And then we're going to put a piece of redstone, a piece of redstone, turn around, and we're going to put a repeater there. Now, why a repeater there? Because this torch is on. If we stuck a piece of redstone, this would this would touch this and that light would always be on. We don't want the light to be on now. We only want the light to activate when this system gets activated. Okay? Now we put redstone there, and you'll notice that light turned off. Okay? And we're going to come in here. We're going to put a sticky piston like so it's going to be activated which is what we want we're going to break this one right here okay and then we're going to put a torch on that not here do not put the torch here put the torch here with the redstone like that okay and then you can go ahead and put the block back it's going to set it off for a second okay it might fill this up it is going to fill it up but i should have had you put it in afterwards no biggie and then just come back here and do the same thing just put that seven right in this in this hopper okay now we're going to go on a burnout clock okay but by putting that um that torch on the block where the hop on where the redstone is it shouldn't just go off randomly it should only go off when this pulls it and moves okay and then you can just put a block back there okay so now we have everything set up let me just come over here and throw this away let me get out some where is it let me get out some iron ingots uh let's just throw in we'll throw in two let's say we only want to do two shots right so we go one we go two and nothing okay so let's put that back let's just do the whole 62 now you want to test it out and make sure you win okay so you're just going to keep going until you win like i said you have a one in nine chance so it could it could take a bit but that's okay because now that the uh, that um dropper is filling up with prizes You'll notice every time we push a button, see there's only there's 53, there's always going to be one here. Now watch, we press this button. 
Now it's going to be 52. Oh, 53. Sorry, why, does it say, why did I say 52? Wait, why is it not? Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. It's only, I apologize. It's only going to go when somebody wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's only going to go, when this light goes off, that is when that um, prize thing activates. Okay? So you're just going to keep pressing it. Now you'll notice, up, oh, up, oh, there we go. They're going to get seven. So what do we have? We have 53. It should be 52. Yep. So it's going to go every time. So that's why it's important that you want to fill this up first because you always want to make sure that you have uh, enough of a prize. But it is a gambling machine. You'll notice on here it doesn't say you're going to get seven. Okay? So it's going to take a while. So what you may want to do is instead of filling that chest up first, fill this hopper up first so you always have the prizes covered and then continue to fill this up too. So put like a stack in there then put a stack in here. That way after seven wins... Uh, there's going to be another seven that got replenished. Okay, this is really just for extra. But you want to make sure you fill this one up first so that dropper gets filled up. Okay? But they're going to win. They'll, they'll win seven. And you'll notice we've given away, what did we win? Once, right? We won once. We gave away seven diamonds, but we got 18 iron ingots. So if you are the person who owns this, you're making out. And that's what you want. You want to make sure that you, you're you always going to win. The house has to win, right? And in... in, in in casinos for it to be profitable the house has to win if the customer won all the time they would be put out of business so that's a fair trade you don't you want you want to make sure somebody has a chance but not too big of a chance and what's fun for this is this could be like if you have a survival world uh you could build one of these or if you have a server i should say or even a survival world you can start out every episode by saying let's see if we win today and no or you can you know maybe you fill the prizes with cake or something you know how, like, remember Stampy? I've never watched him, but I, I've seen clips of him where he used to do, like, that cake thing. You could do that, something like that. There we go, seven. Okay, so you want to make sure that the odds are very, very difficult. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.